dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. A great, great afternoon to you wherever you are on the globe, especially on the continent of Africa, in Europe and in America, Canada, Australia, or right here in Southeast Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, you're highly welcome. Hey, my good friend in Italy, I got your message. I'm excited about it. Keep it coming in. Yes, keep all your messages coming in and let me know where you're watching from. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing from where we ended the, after the late, you know, early morning episode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are continuing from there. And you know what? Our Chelsea Football Club, my club and your club, dear friends, many of you disagreed with me on my point of Maresca continuing, continuing from where uh, Pochettino ended. I said that it was a upward trajectory where Pochettino ended Mariska took it from there and I have my reasons why one of the reasons being that most of the players were new in the Premier League some like Kopama that were even in the Premier League they were not up to that level yet Poch brought them up to that level but well we all have our diverse opinion but quickly see I have learned from the last couple of seasons to not get carried away. I've learned from the last couple of seasons to not get carried away with new managers or new signings, but just judging Mareska on what he's done so far this season. There is not much more I could have asked for. It's just the truth. That is not to say that the foundation that was laid by Pochettino, Mareska did not took advantage of that. That is not to say that the player that came in or that Mareska is making use of right now, they are already used to the Premier League. And that is not to say that Mareska did not have the advantage of extra players, extra players coming in to boost up the current squad. And that is not to say that Mareska did not also have the advantage of injury free. Starting on the season. Last season by now, we have our five, six players on injury. Oh, yes. Now, you see, Mareska currently, he has an excellent tactics now. He's shown huge adaptation with his tactics as well. Yes. He's also not scared to make substitutions. I'm pointing out Mareska's positives for you this afternoon. He is not scared to make substitutions, instill a really strong mentality and great cohesion within the squad. Strong mentality and great cohesion within the squad and speak so well in press conferences. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just a few of Mareska's characteristics and how far he has come with this squad. When I'm speaking, I know exactly what I'm saying, dear friends. I want you to pick my words one by one, analyze it one by one. And do not forget, I said it earlier on today, that the foundation was laid by Pochettino, and I will still repeat that and I will stand on that. Because not every player that comes to the Premier League first season and performs well. Yeah. You see, you see yesterday, I spoke about Nicola Jackson, right? And I made a comparison Chelsea and Villarreal when he was in Villarreal. And then coming to Chelsea. And the level that he is right now, that should take the trajectory. The trajectory of things. It doesn't just happen, it takes time. To adapt in the Premier League, it takes time. And so if Jackson was to come to the Premier League now, it would have been a different story altogether. Oh yes, how many players came to the Premier League this season under uh, Mareska? How many of them? Tell me, Viega, has Viega been part of our first season? Uh, I mean, our first 11. How many games did Viega started in the first 11? John Felix, even he is already an experienced player in the, in the Premier League. Jaden Sancho, he is an experienced player in the Premier League. <laughs> you get it. 
Yeah. So please, let's get things right. We don't just comment because we want to comment. All right. Quickly, Chelsea got Qatar Airways our, as our shirt sponsor, front of shirt sponsor. Actually, that negotiation is still not on. It's still ongoing. It's not yet conclusive. Yeah. The negotiation for Qatar Airways to be our front of shirt sponsor is still ongoing. In fact, it's almost at the conclusion stage. And uh, as you can see right there, that's a design. It looks beautiful. It looks nice. Qatar Airways. Yeah, Qatar Airways. It looks nice. Just like the flight, their flight. <laughs> From the report I'm receiving, those who enjoy Qatar Airways, so their services are just okay. Qatar Airways. So very soon, we might have Qatar Airways as our front of shared sponsor, Chelsea. All right, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, let's move on to some other important issues. And let me say, as we speak, Enzo Maresca has more settled squad than Pochettino. First point. I, this is not even me saying it. As you can see it on your screen. Enzo Maresca has more settled squad than Pochettino. Port has set a new or Port has set of new players to perform with. Pochettino had set of new players to perform with, but Maresca didn't have those set of new players as Pochettino had. No one knew Copama and Nicola Jackson under, before coming to Chelsea. No one knew Copama and Nicola Jackson until they came to Chelsea last season under Pochettino. Port established both of them. Port did a great work in Chelsea, even though I was happy. That is my opinion as well. Even though most of us were happy he was sad, he did a great job. Let's admit it. Give him his flower. Idris wasn't kind to Pochettino. You see, this person, Maxwell, on X, he expressed the exact opinion that I had. He expressed my exact opinion. Idris wasn't kind to Pochettino. Just the very thing that I spoke about earlier on today, the same thing was repeated by this gentleman on X. And that is why I have to screenshot the brief for you. I apply context when you slander Pochettino, dear friend. You are my friend, and I need to let you get the facts correct. You see, Maresca also used Sanchez and got clean sheets. Now, right? Maresca used Sanchez and got clean sheets. You can't go on because you have no point of criticizing Pochettino. Why? If Maresca used Sanchez and got clean sheets right now in Chelsea, I want to remind you that Pochettino established Copama, Jackson, etc. Before last season, no one knew these players. Port played with 85% new players than what Maresca is using. Pochettino played with 85% new players than what Maresca is using currently. Dear friends, Pochettino's struggle last season was partly due to unsettled first 11 due to, because of injury. Personally, I appreciate what Poch had done for Chelsea, but still, I'm happy he was sacked. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Personally, I appreciate what Pochettino had done for Chelsea last season. But yes, still, I am happy right now he was sad. Why? Because I have seen an upgrade in the entire squad. The playing style, the formation. That is the, just the honest truth. Dear friends, 
Remember this Mareska quote. This is your lunch hour, so I'm taking it easy. And I want to be able to balance it for you to follow me or to flow with me. Remember this Mareska quote at the earlier stages when he came in? Or, I mean, about a month or so ago. During the international break, that was when he made this statement. Yeah, during the international break. He said, we use this international break to try something new for the future that we can probably use. We also did some defensive work to find the balance. I'm taking it again. Mareska, and I quote, we use this international break to try something new for the future that we can probably use. We also did some defensive work to find the balance. Dear friend, since then, after the international break till now, since then, Chelsea haven't conceded a goal. So you now get a point, reason why I said, I am happy Port was sad. Not that I don't like Pochettino, not that the foundation he laid, he laid did not play a role in the job Mareska is doing now. But I am just happy for the improvement, the level at which Chelsea is right now under Enzo Mareska. Since the international break, we haven't considered a goal till now. Dear friends, before I let you go tonight, or before I come back to this, let me quickly go here first. Because there's something Brighton head coach said. Our next game is against Brighton on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Brighton. Oh, yeah, it's Casado against his former club. Moise Casado, Moise Kai Sedo. Yes, Moise Kai Sedo against his former club, Brighton, coming Sunday. And he's, he's for, the coach of Brighton, current coach of Brighton, has said something. I'll get to that pretty soon. Just wait a minute. But you see, after predicted final Premier League table, and surprisingly, Chelsea finally is at the fourth position. Surprisingly, few weeks ago, we were around seven, eight position. Nobody believed Chelsea could be, you know, in the top four. Nobody, nobody. Or if you ask all the fan beat, they will tell you, no, 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 no. But today, after predicted Chelsea to be on the fourth on the league table, dear friends, you see how things can change so quickly, all down to the work. Mareska has done and is doing currently with this squad. Alright? Now, before we go to the shout-out, it is a very good afternoon to you. Hot one for that matter. So I will not waste much of your time. Brighton head coach Fabian Hasler. Yes, the 30-year-old Brighton head coach Fabian Hasler on Jackson. Speaking about my boy, Nicholas Jackson. <laughs> oh, yes. This is what he said. I quote, I think he is the full package. He wants to combine. Sometimes he gets more space where he can combine with his teammates. He's also very fast. He can attack the defense. This mix, this balance makes him very dangerous for us. <laughs> of course, he's a top striker. And at the moment, he is in a very good shape. So you can't defend against them one on one. You can't defend against them in a one against one. You can't defend against Chelsea right now in one against one. Coming from who? Fabian Asler, Brighton head coach. We are facing Brighton next Sunday. And you, my dear friend, are there who was asking about prediction. Don't worry, we'll get to that. There's time to predict. <laughs> uh, quickly, let's go to some shout-out before I let you go for your lunch. Uh, Chris Williams says, you are right. Chelsea has the best attacking players in the Premier League currently. Big shout-out to you, Chris Williams, my brother out there, Chris Williams. Big shout-out to you. Uh, this one says, give us your prediction for weekend, sir. I am Sami Loco by name from Nigeria, but live in Italy. Big shout out to you, my brother Sammy Loco, all the way in Italy, but a Nigerian. Big, big shout out to you. The prediction definitely will come on. 
but not now. Yes, normally we do predict three hours to the game. Three hours to the game, that is when we bring the predictions out. Because right now, they're still going to be training tomorrow. We don't know which players are going to be available. Anything can happen, injury situations or whatever. We have to assess the players that are available that we can predict, even the scoreline. So that if you want to bet, you can bet. And this season, we have not yet predicted, you know, because the squad is not yet settled. This coach is difficult to predict, but I think this weekend we shall predict. We shall predict. Big shout out to you anyway, my brother in Italy, my brother Sami Loco in Italy. Big shout out to you out there. Okay, this one says, Good morning from Nigeria. Keep it up, bro. God bless you. God bless you to your name is Moses Origi. Big shout out to you, Moses, wherever you are in Nigeria. Keep your names coming in and where you are watching us from. This one says, not five wins, but three wins. One loss, one draw. Mr. Salon Blog. My name is Oluwashina from Nigeria, watching from UAE, Dubai. You see, the point is that you are counting only the Premier League. Five wins. Have you, have you counted the Conference League? Uh -huh. You get it? So, dear friends, it is what it is. Big shout out to you already. Anyway, my dear friend, from you, watching from UAE, from Nigerian, but watching from UAE, Dubai. Your name is Oluwa Shina. Oh, Oluwa Shina, it's been a long time. It's been a while I heard from you. Keep it coming. Let me hear from you in the next one as well. Big shout out to you out there, Oluwa Shina from Nigeria, but at least in UAE. So I say, good morning, sir. I would like our club Chelsea to keep Modric. Modric, because the guy will come good early time. The guy will come good early time estate. Well, Chelsea to sell Modric, let them loan him in any Premier League club for one or two seasons. Good day once again. My name is Bright Fabian, a.k.a. Chelsea legend from Nigeria, Delta State. AKA Chelsea legend from Nigeria, Delta State. Big shout out to you out there. Uh, this one says, uh, you lie. About what? Come again. Your name is not here and you said you lie. Well, it is up to you. It's your opinion. Whatever you said I lie about, let me know exactly what you think I'm lying about. Big shout out to you out there anyway. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one says up blue Nanti back of watching from Jones, Nigeria. Ah, Nanti, it's been a while. Where have you been? It's been a while ahead from you, Nanti Bako from Jones, Nigeria. Keep it coming in. Big shout out to you, my friend and my good brother, Nanti in Nigeria. Big big shout out to you out there. This one says, please, Chelsea play a small team. Okay, these are the old ones. So let us not go there again. All right, dear friends. I should be back with more exclusives in a later hour. I'll see you when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.